Hello, this is part of a lecture series in 2010 Amy 1 problems. In this lecture we will be going over problem 2. Here's a view of the problem. So we are given this product of 999 terms. Let's call this product as P and the question is to figure out the remainder when this product is divided by a thousand. There are multiple ways you can handle this. Uh, a longer way to deal with it is to surely multiply the last three digits in each term and see a pattern, but that would be very lengthy. For example, if the question was just asking for the last digit, uh, so the remainder when p is divided by 10, you would have simply multiplied 9, the last digit, times 9, the last digit here, times 9, the last digit in the third term, and so on. And then 9 for the last term. Because there are 999 terms, there's an odd number of 9s here. So now let's see if we can figure out a pattern. 9 times 9 is 81. Just focus on the last term, which is 1. And then you multiply it further by 9, you get a 9. You get multiply it further with a 9 next term, you get a 1, and so on. But because the very last term is odd, we realize that when there's an odd number, it ends with a 9. So it's not too hard to visualize that the very, very last digit of this product will be a 9. If you are doing the same thing for the last two digits, you will have to multiply 9 and the, the first term times 99 times 99 again times 9 so we will have 998 99s and then a 9 so that would be a very involved computations and we don't want to go into this instead obviously uh, we know that this problem is a perfect application of modular arithmetic right so we will be using that instead huh? modular arithmetic okay we would realize that p is equal to well 9 times 99 times 999 so i will be looking at in mod 1000 so in mod 1000 999 would be simply negative 1 right because in mod 1000 that would be negative 1 times and the rest of the terms will all be negative 1 all the way to the last term and how many negative ones do we have 997 negative ones. 9 times 99 would be, I believe, 891. And then an odd number of negative ones would give you a negative 1. So that would be congruent to um, 891 in mod 1000 is, is congruent to negative 109 times minus 1. And finally, we get that P is congruent to 109. So therefore, the answer to this problem is 109. When this product is divided by 1000, the remainder would be 109. And that solves our problem.